When our shooters were in Hungary at the International Muzzle Loading Competition, uh, they found that a number of the Hungarians were loading with semolina instead of wads. Uh, and so they, this idea, which hadn't occurred to anybody before, I think, uh, was brought back. And various of the members of the Anglian Muzzle Loading uh, Club have been trying semolina since, and uh, everybody's reported that it's very successful. So semolina is a durum, ground durum wheat. It's a fairly uh, gritty um, grind. It's not sort of soft like, like flour, and you can buy it in either a fine grain or a coarse ground. Uh, it's actually the same stuff as couscous, but uh, couscous is an even coarser grain. So there's our semolina. I'm going to do some experiments now uh, to look at what happens when you load uh, a gun with semolina. The principle is you put in the powder as normal, then instead of putting a card and a water on top of the powder, you pour in some semolina, and then you drop the shot down, again without putting a card on top of the semolina, and then after that you put a um, the overshot card on. So a much simpler process. The, uh, some people have used fine semolina, most people use fine semolina, but I was talking to somebody who'd used coarse semolina and found it perfectly satisfactory. Um, I don't know how much uh, the, the Hungarians were using, but I think <coughs> people are dispensing it out of ordinary shot flasks and that probably means uh, that they're using the equivalent of uh, three drams in volume of black powder. And my, um, my experiment tells me that uh, couscous weighs about two thirds of the uh, weight of black powder. So that if you run a, a three dram load of semolina into your barrel, you're actually putting two drams weight of semolina. So we're now going to do an experiment. I've set up a vertical barrel, uh, 32 inches long, with a plastic chamber on the end. The, the chamber is a bigger bore than the barrel. The, the chamber is uh, seven and a half bore. The barrel is about 18 bore, and the barrel is a bit rusty. I've put a funnel at the top of the uh, barrel to pour the stuff down, and I'm pouring it down out of measured containers. So that's the experiment we're going to do. Thank you. We're going to do an experiment now loading a plastic tube with semolina instead of a wad. So I've got a barrel here, a quite small barrel, 18 bore I think, um, set up absolutely vertically with a plastic tube which is 7.5 bore at the bottom of it. I'm going to load it with 3 drams of Swiss uh, firm Czech powder. I've got a funnel at the top, so here's my 3 drams of Czech powder. So that's going in now. So that's there. I've now got two drams of uh, semolina, which is about the equivalent volume to four drams of, uh, of, of powder. So that's going in now. And now I've got one and a quarter ounces of shot, uh, which I'm going to put in. It's uh, number seven and a half shot so that's going in at the top too right there we are now what you can see from that is that actually almost all that shot got buried in the semolina i'm going to rotate this now you can see just over there that that lot hasn't but it's pretty well Mm, I bet when I come to empty that, that'll be pretty nearly down to the powder. So essentially you can see the semolina there on the top of uh, the shot so that the semolina is penetrated almost all the way through the shot. So what we're getting there, and then we put a card on, oh, well I can't put a card on top of it, but if I were to put a card on top of it, that would just press the whole lot down and probably... Um, I'd end up with uh, 
the, the shot buried in the summer of the year. I think we might try that now actually. I'm going to take the tube off the bottom if I can. Probably won't make a very good picture. But there we go. I'll take these blocks of wood out of the bottom here. Right, so now we're down to there. And let's put, see if that card fits. Yep, that card's perfect. We now need to push that card down. So you can see that the card, if you look at that, you can see the card is pretty nearly sitting on top of, oh, it's shifted now, but the card is sitting pretty well on top of most of the semolina. So what we've got here is, is the powder at the bottom, which is separate from the semolina. There's, there's virtually no mixing between the powder and the semolina, but the shot has embedded itself almost entirely, or half of it anyway, in the semolina. Okay, now what we're going to do now, if I can do this, is to empty it out. So you can just watch... I can get it right. You can see here the mixture of semolina. There's a bit of shot comes out without any semolina. And then if you're looking into there, we're just above the powder level there, and we've still got shot embedded right in the semolina down there. So there we are, there's shot now just a few shot have almost penetrated to the powder so we've got a, a wad of oh, now we're coming up with ship powder so I'm going to get rid of that right so now I've got a bit of a mess to get rid of haven't I but there we go so there's our experiment <coughs> so it looks like mostly there's mixing so when you shoot this thing you're shooting uh, a wad of semolina and the next experiment I'll probably try is to see whether when you compress that uh, with the force of an explosion it actually goes solid. Thank you very much. Well, I've got some uh, fine semolina on the workbench here I'm just going to try the effect of flame on it because I want to see what happens during the combustion. So it's charring nicely out of gas here but it's not doing anything really spectacular so a bit of burning so that's giving us a pretty good heat up now let's just have a look and see what's underneath that okay there's our little pile of uh, semolina and it hasn't burnt through and it's formed a nice crust nice solid skin round there and that was quite a lot of flame played on it for quite a while so if that was the surface if the bottom surface was the surface in contact with the powder then you might assume that it wasn't going to burn up too far through the semolina and probably not get as far as the shot. Our investigations continue.